Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy. Who is it, though? We back talking sports. So, I want to do a video. Um, about this certain subject I haven't did a video on. I did, I used to do a lot of videos on this particular subject, but I stopped. <clears throat> I want to talk about the disconnect between players and media on Kobe, Kobe Bryant. You see Jamal Murray's top five players, right? It's one outlier. That's Steph. I don't think... In my opinion, I don't think Steph is that high yet. Not yet. If he win one more, you could put him anywhere in the top five, in my opinion. Just not number one and two for me. Steph can get high, as high as three for me. But he will never pass Kobe and Mike because of the because of how great they was defensively. Offensively, Steph right there. I'm going to be real with you. Mike, Kobe, Steph right there offensively, bro. He damn near could do everything Mike and Kobe can do. Tough shots <sighs> offensively, but defensively, it's not close, bro. He's not close. But anyways, I want to talk about how the players in the league that either played with Kobe or played against Kobe, even a lot of young players, they don't question. They don't even uh, think – to put Kobe in a top five, or if somebody got Kobe in a top five, or got them ahead of LeBron, it might be an argument or whatever. But they don't even think. Nobody has a problem when uh, Kobe is mentioned in the top five. But when the media, when it, people go on the TV and in media, they have a problem with it. You feel me? Because then it would be the notion that somebody is above LeBron, and LeBron is nowhere near the goat. It's somebody that's in front of him. Which it is. It's a few people that's in front of him for me. To me, he at the same level as Steph. For me. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? Personally, if I had to pick one, I value winning over, over stats. I value winning over stats. Period. Stats didn't become so much. People are trying to make stats more important than winning now, these days. Now, Jamal Murray had his top five players. He had Mike, Kobe, Steph, LeBron, Shaq. Now, I probably wouldn't have Shaq top five just because I was hard on Shaq. I hold Shaq to the highest regard, bro. In my lifetime, I still ain't seen a player that's as dominant as Shaq. I didn't get to see Will play, so please don't come in the comment section. I didn't get to see Will play. I'm talking about with my two eyes. He's the most dominant player I ever seen, still to this day. You know what I'm saying? But Shaq is definitely top tier, but I, I would have him somewhere in the seven to nine range. But that's just my opinion. But I have no I have no problem with Shaq being in people top five because he was fucking that dominant. But I just think after he left Kobe and then he got with D-Wade and everything, but D-Wade was crazy in that finals. I just think he didn't take care of himself. Shaq underachieved, in my opinion. Shaq should have like six, seven titles. He, Bro, Shaq low-key should be the greatest of all time. I'm going to be, nobody could stop Shaq. Shaq could be the greatest of all time. That three-year stretch, even though I go against it because people try to say that Shaq carried Kobe, Shaq was dominating niggas. Now, he didn't dominate the Spurs. Go look at any of them Spurs series. Kobe took over. But Shaq was fucking dominant. LeBron. LeBron is a top five player. You know what I'm saying? I just don't believe he's the GOAT. He's the 
the greatest modern day stat stuffer we have. You know what I'm saying? Him, Russell Westbrook, shit, Nikola Jokic now, but he's the greatest stat stuffer in the modern day history. You feel me? So I personally would have him fifth. But this is a great this is a great five. Steph, I think he got Steph maybe a little high, but I can't disagree on how he looking at it, depending on how he looking at it. You know what I'm saying? And my top five is going to be defensive and offensive players. You have to be a two-way to be in my top five for now. But Steph probably could change that because he's so fucking great, bro, offensively. Like, most of these guys in here are known for their defense as well. Well, Shaq, not so much, but shot blocking pretty much. But Steph has got a lot better. And Steph is he plays the passing lanes well and he's a great he he's a great um steel artist. You got Kobe. This is exactly where Kobe should be at. The first two is exactly where they should be at. Everybody know that Michael Jordan is the GOAT, and everybody know that Kobe is GOAT Jr. And this is what I'll be talking about with the players versus the media. That's why what a media be on TV talk about is Kobe top tier. Players be looking at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? Of course Kobe is top ten. Of course Kobe is top five. I don't even. It's not even a, a question to me. It's not a question that LeBron is top five. You feel me? I got LeBron tied fifth. I moved him down to six, but I ain't gonna move him out of the top five. I'm not gonna do him like that. I got him tied for fifth. You feel me? With Bird. I got Wilt sixth. And the only reason why I got Wilt sixth is because I think Bird. <clears throat> Bird, like, had better competition. And also, Bird, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you can't really compare Wilt's numbers to anybody's numbers because the league was different. The competition was different. Everything was different. I just got Bird a little bit over Wilt because of his his passing ability. You know what I'm saying? His shooting ability. I think he was more complete as an offensive player. I think Wilt might have been more dominant, but more complete. I think it was Larry Bird. So that's just my opinion. But if you have – some people have Wood as the GOAT. I have no problem with that or anything like that. But I got Burr and LeBron tied for fifth all time. But this is this is the disconnect between the players, what the players think about Kobe versus what the media – where the media rank Kobe. And you see, you see the total disrespect, you know what I'm saying, total difference. You feel me? Versus the media automatically putting LeBron second, which is which you know what I'm saying I guess it's cool whatever like that, but versus when other players say that you know what I'm saying he might be fourth fifth. Now I don't I think it's crazy to not have LeBron in your top ten. I that's when I think you kind of a hater on LeBron if you don't have him in the top ten. But you know what I'm saying some people just really don't think that he's like that. But this is my opinion, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. This has been Who is Hendo with another video, and I'm out. Peace.